How is it that yesterday we were in shorts and t-shirts in a beautiful sunny 85 degree weather kind of day, only an hour and a half away from where we are right now, and now we're expecting a blizzard. If you know what state we're in at this point in the video, leave a comment below. Let's see if you're right. Hey, real quick, before I continue this blizzard vlog, I've gotta give a quick thanks to our sponsor today. Our sponsor today is Mercedes. Mercedes was actually supposed to be our sponsor today, but clearly they sent us the wrong vehicle. Now, back to the blizzard vlog. So, we are currently at an Airbnb. We booked it for three nights for multiple reasons. Number one, we needed a reset to refresh, get our bearings. We had a few rough nights in a row camping. Um, I booked a campsite for three nights on top of a mountain that was like, I think 9,000 feet elevation or something. It was a blast, beautiful. But after our first night, I woke up and I was like, we need to leave. I don't know why, but we're leaving today. And I don't care if we got our money back for the next two nights. So anyways, as we were packing up, the camper next to us is like, oh, you guys heading out today too? And we're like, yeah. He's like, crazy snowstorm coming, eh? And we're like, there's a snowstorm coming? He's like, yeah, like 12 to 18 inches is gonna hit this weekend. So, like, so it's a good idea to leave right now. And I was like, wow, I guess my intuition's doing well right now. <laughs> Other than the fact that I booked for three nights to begin with. So anyways, we have this Airbnb. We're really excited to hang out, chill, rest. And oddly enough, even though it was 85 degrees yesterday, we were in our shorts hanging out with friends. Now it is 30 degrees and starting to snow. And so I need to move the van up from this incline, get it up on the road so that we're not snowed in when uh, it comes time to check out. Based on the forecast and the temps after the snowstorm, I'm not sure if we are gonna get out of here when we're supposed to check out. So it's kind of fun times. We're excited to be here, but we don't know what is gonna happen in three, two days or three days. We, we may just have to ask the host if we can like stay for another night or two, like if we can't move our van on the road. <laughs> I guess I'm really gonna be able to test out those tires. Anyways, I gotta get this van moved. I gotta get a couple more things unloaded. It's really starting to snow now. It's snowing in the van. I gotta get my guitar out. And I gotta get the violin. Whoa. It's already frozen solid, the step up. Freezing my Royal Rastafire and Nana is off out here. So I'm driving right now. It's really starting to come down already. The forecast was showing it was supposed to start around 5 p.m. It's 9 a.m. and it's already starting to snow. So I'm glad I'm out here moving the van now uh, in front of the house so that hopefully we'll have a way better chance of uh, getting out come three days from now. We're gonna go out for one more trip to the store to get our last bit of groceries. Before the bread, milk, and eggs. If you can't have French toast during a snowstorm, you won't survive. We not only found civilization before the snowstorm really gets going, but we found great civilization. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we're loaded up from the store. The snow is really starting to come down. We got to get back through the mountain pass to our little cottage before the roads get too crazy. We made it back to the house. And I have a watermelon for Daisy! <laughs> I love watermelon actually. Yeah. Nice to have watermelon and snow. Get some watermelon slushies? Anybody? So, update. The town we are in actually has an elevation of about 9,500 feet. So we're actually higher than we were at the campground that we left because of the snowstorm coming in. So we outran a snowstorm ultimately to be in a different snowstorm that's actually the same snowstorm just an hour and a half away. But I got one more uh, last trip to do the van to get something out. I swear I've cleaned out pretty much the whole van. I asked Ariel if she needs the spare tire at this point. This is uh, 
yeah, probably 87th trip, something like that. You know, it's interesting, as the father, the overall protector, provider of the family, you never stop thinking about stuff like I'm getting all the batteries out of the van and, you know, of course all the winter clothing and everything, you know, headlamp in case power goes out in the house and flashlights and, you know, like I said, pretty much everything's out of the van now. <laughs> you know, I got the Airbnb because the snowstorm coming. So it's awesome to know the kids are inside, Ariel's inside, all warm and cozy and has all their food and everything. But like I'm out here making sure I park the van strategically so that we could get out if we need to get out. And also hopefully out of the way of the snowplow drivers at the same time because we're new here. So I don't want to, you know, make anyone angry around here. So anyways, it's just kind of like, I like it though. It never... It never stops, but it feels really good to know your family's uh, has everything they need and is protected. So, anyways, I better get back inside. My my dead cat is turning into a snow cat, so I better go uh, thaw out. Very beginning. <laughs> we probably got about three or four four inches right now, but <laughs> I don't know about that much, but probably a lot. Hey, do me a favor, would you leave me a comment down below and let me know if you guys like these kind of vlog type videos or if you prefer the more uh, polished stuff. We'll make sure to get Ariel on some of these as well and the kids and stuff and share uh, their thoughts. But do let me know if you like this. And if you like this, like the video and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, my name is Leif. Keep living, thriving, and building. I'm going to try to get some hot chocolate now. See you later.